I'm listening. Dennis is very interested in certain details of your bio, particularly your relationship with Andrei Popovich. He was asking me questions and promised to pay me a solid amount if I told him the truth. Listen to me. Dennis knows you're a liar. And a criminal. He won't believe you, and I'll deny everything. <laughs> sure. How about denying a cozy and sexy home video featuring you and Andre? You were stripping in front of him, and you know the rest. I'm pretty sure that Dennis would love to see that. You wouldn't dare. I might change my mind, if you pay me. I've given you money, more than enough of it. No, you didn't pay me the entire amount, remember? I've got serious trouble with my business. I don't care who pays me, you or your husband, the choice is yours. Being an honest gentleman, I decided to give you a chance. How much do you want? Um, considering our friendship, not too much. 300 grand. I need it as soon as possible. I'd like to have it very soon. Preferably tonight. Are you crazy? I need more time to find the money. Okay. I can give you three days. The clock is ticking. Die, you bastard. I want my fortress's promo to be completely different from the old one. New season, new promo. Yes, of course. We still have 30 seconds, right? Not just the timing, but the budget also has to be the same. <laughs> it's not that easy, but I do have some ideas. Tell me. May I? Oh, I'll drop by later. Come in, we're almost done. And so... We're doing a 30-second video with combination of the cast-based and 3D animation. So you're saying you're going to create images by using existing layers of footage? Sort of. It'll make the house under construction look epic. It'll be awesome. Interesting. Symmetry and perspective will fit in beautifully. Also, we can play with details to avoid monotony, like accentuating single objects. I think that would be a great start. In theory, Carolina, it'll look different. I wouldn't do that. We have 30 seconds. It'll be annoying to the viewers if we choose to keep switching shots. I would go for color accents. Yes, but a lot depends on the editing. It has to be modern and fast-paced. Yeah. I agree. Although... Carolina, we need to update our editing software. We don't have enough visual effects. That's right. I think I'll come back later. <sighs> okay. Right, let's sum it up. I should get started on the promo right away. To be honest, I still can't visualize it. Could you give me a draft storyboard? <sighs> okay. Should I come up with another promo event? No, it would be too risky to start scheming again. I have no one to borrow from. 300,000. Where am I going to get that? I may have an idea. It might not work out, but at least I can try. Where are the damn contracts? We have just started looking in your whining already. Lesha, do you have any idea where the 2015 contracts are? No. Anna? Anna? Do you know where the 2015 folder is? What? Are you okay? You're looking a little pale. Do you feel all right? I kind of feel sick. You should go home then. 
Thank you, Lesha. I was going to ask you to let me go. I'll come back tomorrow. Stay healthy. Get well soon. Bye. Bye. Good day. Good day. Andre, we need to talk. Okay, I don't have much time, though. Carolina's flooded me with assignments. Okay. What's going on with you and Anna? Oh. What a weird question. Anna's my fiancé sister. Besides, if you remember, we used to work together, right? That's it? Yes. What did you expect? Exactly that. Okay, let me make it more specific for you. I want to know, what is your personal relationship with Anna? I don't like your wife. You better answer the question, Andrew. Dennis, I've never had an affair with Anna. Never will. You have my word. You look like a boxer getting ready for a fight. I hope there won't be. For now. That's strange. They just won't let us talk in peace. I wanted to thank you, Timothy, for finding time to meet with me. And I apologize um, for being way too emotional the other day. It's all right. Well, I had my reasons. I thought having a co-host no matter what her background is, would be a great risk to the outcome of the show. The ratings, the success, the quality of the show wouldn't depend solely on me. I beg to disagree. That's why I offered this job to you and Yana. Firstly, it would take off part of the pressure for you both. Secondly, you can always help each other out if anything goes wrong. After all, it's a live show. Anything can happen. And you know this very well. I can assure you that it won't happen ever again. I was thinking about it yesterday, and I decided that I wanted to take part in the newly revamped natural beauty show. Anna, can I be honest? I'm worried about your current emotional state. I can assure you it won't happen again. Very well, I'm ready to work. Let's give it a try. In that case, I'd like to ask you a small favor. I'm all ears. Can I have an advanced payment? I need it for different things, for massages and cosmetologists, to make sure that I'm in shape for the show, to style my hair. Let's just skip all the details. All right. Let's sign the contract and accounting will prepare the amount. It was nice dealing with you, Timothy. <laughs> Likewise, Anna. After this, I'll call Yana and tell her that you accepted. I think she will be glad, right? <laughs> For sure. Mm -hmm. Anna accepted? <clears throat> no, yeah, that's right. That's great news. Anna could have told me herself, though. Is she there? Send her my greetings. No, no problem. We can shoot a promo one of these days. Mm -hmm. We'll set the date. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Why did she change her mind?
And I can already imagine how this will go. We will make a great show indeed. A super show. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we will, Timothy. I think it will be a fabulous show. Okay, I have to go. I have a lot of things to arrange. I remember my promise, so I will start with that. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> bye bye. Yes, what do you want? Dennis came to see me and asked me about you. What did he ask you? Our relationship. He thinks you and I are having an affair. I have no idea what made him think so. This is new. I know why. That bastard Victor told him. What did you say? What do you think? Of course I denied everything. I reassured him that there was no affair. If I was going to tell him the truth, I would have done it. Thanks for keeping my secret. And for the warning. <laughs> Wait. I'm not doing this for you. Dennis is starting to ask the right questions. Soon he'll find out. And everyone else. Your time's up. It's your last chance to confess. If you don't do it, you'll be in deep shit. It's time to expect the worst. Hmm? Giving me advice? What an idiot. Vadim, why didn't you come back like you said? You were too busy, and going for a walk was your idea. I'm sorry, it slipped my mind, I've been busy. I noticed that. You were having a productive conversation and I didn't want to disturb you. You wouldn't disturb me. We would be interested in your opinion, Vadim. My opinion? Carolina, I've never worked on TV. I know nothing about your close-ups and long-ups. You mean long shots. I'll remember that. You don't have to, Vadim. I don't know anything about security techniques either. We work in different fields. That's what I mean. Also, talking to Andre is more useful for you than talking to me. You were so enthusiastic you even forgot that I was there. I admit that it was my fault that I made you wait and I forgot about our walk. I'm excited about my job, not Andre. TV is my job. Television has always been my inspiration. And my hobby. I respect you and your hobbies, but I don't want to feel neglected again. It won't happen again. I promise. I'm sorry. You know, if Yana wants to switch to another channel, what can I do about it? It's Karodina's business. I'm only interested in one thing that Yana Matvienko, an experienced specialist, will keep working for me. The thing is, we really want to encourage Cherkasi Silicatbud to work with us. We have some great offers. Dennis, first of all, I am really sorry that we have to do this meeting through video call. I went to Kiev on urgent business. Uh, let me explain what Yana and I are talking about. We were planning to renew the natural beauty show. The location had to be changed to Kiev's concrete jungle or simply the industrial zone. Although, Yana came forward with a better idea, to shoot the show in Cherkasy, at your factory. Why is that? Warehouses, workshops, mm. it will make the show look more real, and, and we are also considering changing the name of the original show to Beauty Factory. For us, it'll be useful in two ways. Firstly, it will put the factory on the map for the entire country. Secondly, Timothy is ready to sign an exclusive contract with Silicate Bud on behalf of TV15. Um, I'd like to remind you that our channel broadcasts on Ukraine's entire territory. Dennis, what do you say to our proposal? I'm actually worried it might interfere with a working process. We would have to discuss all the details. 
But in general, I do like it. Maybe we should extend it to the entire holding instead of the factory alone. What do you think? That's a great idea. Great idea indeed. Let's sign the contract, and we can get to work. I have to run it through my father, the head of the holding, but I actually don't see any obstacles. This cooperation will be lucrative for you and for us. Good. Thank you, Yana. I commend you for this great idea. By the way, Yana won't be hosting the show by herself. The show will have two co-hosts, two sisters. <laughs> I used to work with your wife, and I'm extremely happy to see her back on our channel. Has she given her consent? Yes. Anna said she would be happy to work with us again, and that she can't wait to start. <sighs> oh, I see. Are you busy? No, I asked you to come. Come in. So you're starting at TV 15. I already have, but it won't affect my fortress in any way, I promise. It's my project and I'll keep working on it. It's one of the conditions for the other channel. I remember our common friend who works at the development department and also worked for Timothy's channel not that long ago. Aren't you following your sister's footsteps? Carolina, <clears throat> I said it before and I'll say it again. I heard what you said, but let me finish first. You know well how that story ended. I had to fire Anna because of her insatiable appetite. I strongly advise you not to bite more than you can chew. I have no insatiable appetites or ambitions. I want to work, and I know how to multitask. I hope that you don't mind me still working at my fortress. I'm sure I can do it, and I won't let you down. That's what I wanted to hear. You know how long we'd been looking for a host before we found you. I don't want to lose a great host like you. Besides, Dennis told me about the Project Beauty Factory. And I believe it has every chance to be successful. It would be lucrative not just for you, but also for Anna, who gets a chance to come back on screen after that failure. Dennis believes it would be good for both Tracassi Silicate Bud and the Dubrovalsky Holding. He's correct. Good luck, Yana. Let me know if you need my help. Thanks, Carolina. Are you surprised that I agreed to work on the show? I understand maybe it was the spur of the moment, but when I heard the producer wanted to cooperate with me... Anna, tell me the truth. Were you and Andrew lovers? Be honest. Honey, of course not. Never. Next question. Did you hire Victor to set up Andre? Where do all these ridiculous suspicions come from? I'm serious. You know, neither my wife nor Andre can tell me the truth. I'll instead have to buy it from Victor Buhai. Go ahead, buy it. For money, Victor will tell you anything. You were going to give us a second chance. Is this it? You should have just... divorced me after my miscarriage. You should have just left me then already. And let me kill myself in peace. Yes, I promised to give the two of us a chance, and I did. But I'm fed up with your lies. You know, I wonder what other deadly sins you're going to accuse me of tonight. You were involved in the scandal with accusations of bribery against Andre. I also know that you were the one who sent the video with Andre allegedly taking the bribe. You know very well I suspected you of having feelings for my sister. And I had my reasons. 
Go on, I'll listen to your truth. I... I organized that video scandal because... Because I hoped that Anji would get fired. I knew he got an offer from a TV channel in Kyiv. I wanted to push him towards quitting and accepting that job. He'd go to Kyiv and take my sister with him and take her far away from my husband. You were ready to set him up and go through with a scheme only because of your stupid jealousy? I'm ashamed of it. But I wasn't myself then, when I realized that I made a mistake. I tried to fix it. So you trusted this gangster. How could you do that? I thought that gangsters had their own code of honor. But then he started blackmailing me and he threatened to tell you and demanded a lot of money from me. When I refused, he approached you. Victor Buhai is absolutely devoid of any moral sense. Say something. Dennis, I told you the truth. I know I've made a lot of mistakes, but... That's because I love you. And I'm scared of losing you. Doesn't this redeem me even a little bit? I know that I'm not a painter at all, but can I give you some advice? My nose doesn't look like that. Also, my chin is more protruding and strong, hmm? Well, this drawing is not finished yet. It's just a sketch from memory. Like a draft version? I didn't know that drawing was as addictive as... <laughs> Gambling. Yeah, I noticed that you've been drawing all the time lately. Yeah, I didn't expect to get so carried away by it. It's because I met Lada and started to attend her drawing classes. You mean the woman I saw you with? Yes, I told you about her. She... I don't know, she knows how to make you fall in love with drawing. I don't even feel like she's older. All of her students actually treat her like she's our equal of our own age. Uh, when are you going on your... what is it called? You know... Plein air? Yes. Today? Do you want to go? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just asking. Unlike with natural beauty, our contestants will have to demonstrate their amazing talents against the background of an industrial zone, which is currently still in its work hours. Was Cherkassi Silicatbud selected as a partner because the hosts work there and Anna Dobrovolsky is also the wife of the factory owner? The working conditions at the Silicatbud factory allow us to make the show truly spectacular. That's what matters for the hosts and their producers. A question for both of you. Won't you have to cancel your other projects because of your participation in this project? I'm not leaving my fortress. I'll keep working on both projects. And I'm definitely not going to quit my work with the orphanages. And besides, I am planning to donate part of my earnings to charity to help. Aren't you worried you might have a falling out because of your rivalry in the show? <laughs> We've been close since childhood. Remember, it's just a show. Right? Goodbye. Come again soon. Good day. Please come in and take a seat.
Glad to see you. Hello. How are you feeling? Not so bad. I'm here, back at work, as you can see. Hmm. Here's our menu. You're not coming? Mm-mm, no. We're going to the plein air today. We can still make it if we hurry. You see how busy we are today? Mama Olya and I can barely handle it. Liuba had to stay at home because there was a pipe that burst and she's still waiting for the plumber to arrive. How unfortunate. Although, there's an upside. Liuba isn't here so we can still talk. Zoriana, the customers are waiting. Um, um, let me help you. Yes, of course. Wash your hands and take an apron. Yes, I know. This isn't my first time here. Dumplings, fresh batch. Is somebody going to take them? I will. That's good. The landscape is coming together nicely. Look, if you add a bit of blue. Here in the shadow, just a bit. Just a little bit. It'll look much better. Hmm? I can't believe it. It's Claudia. Andri! Oh. Where have you been? I called you. Your phone was out of reach. You were supposed to finish the previews. I'm going to the editing room right now. Everything will be fine. Carolina. I'll finish them today. Are you drunk? I can smell it on you. <sighs> How dare you? Coming to work late and drunk, do you think you're irreplaceable? No, I'm not drunk. I had a little to drink, but I have it under control. Trust me, I really do. I'm a uh, normal, high, fun, high... High function. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. Thank you so much for not coming to work out of control. Andri. I appreciate you as a pro, but if you come to work in this disgusting state again, especially after lunch, I will fire you. You got it. Don't test me with this. Mm-hmm. I want those previews by morning. Bon appétit. Aren't you at the plein air? I'm helping out. Maybe I can still make it. Where's Petro? I'll go get him. What do you want? I'm busy. You won't believe who I just saw. Who? I'd rather go to the well for water than deal with this plumber. He loves money too much. Why are you here, distracting the chef from his work? Okay, we'll talk at home. It's very important. What are you doing here? 
Tell me, what's going on? I, well, you can say that I'm here as an intern. This is a restaurant, not a hospital. Olya, Petro, you should study, not run around with dumplings. I wanted to help. I have some free time. You should get some rest. Luba, enough. Go get changed and start working. Danilo knows what he's doing. It's okay, Danilo wants to help. The next time, people will help him. I just want him to become a doctor, a great doctor. You're his father, it's your choice. It's just a drop in the ocean. Anna Dobrovolsky has commissioned me for several jobs several times in the past. This video to set up the director is nothing compared to what you'd like to know. I'm ready to tell you everything. But first, you have to give me some cash. Could it be that Anna set up that video scandal because she was jealous? Maybe. It could be. Could it be that Victor just wants to swindle money from me? Absolutely. Why are you calling? I still have time. Your husband keeps calling me. He's very insistent. He's so eager to pay me for the info, it's a shame that I have to ignore him. I've almost put together the entire amount. Good for you. I hope tomorrow will go as we agreed. Yes, tomorrow. I hope so. If not, I can always call Dennis. What's wrong with you? You look anxious. Are you nervous because of the studio rehearsal? You're a pro. I suppose you're ready. Let's go. Let's see who's the real pro. You or me. Bye. See you again, Nicole. Take care. Be careful. <laughs> oh. Good day, Lada. Hello. Um, this is my girl, Vinsoriana. I told you about her. Good day. Nice to meet you. You too. I'm sorry, we're late because of me. It's okay, this wasn't our last class. You can come next time. We can accompany you then. Let me help you. Thank you. Yes, me too. Thank you, dear. This too. Right. Danilo told me that you work in a dumpling restaurant. Mm-hmm. We treat people to tasty food. Mmm, dumpling. What's not to love about it? Although, it must be very hard work. Yes, but I like it a lot. Because of the people that I work with. <laughs> Every new TV season brings new hope. Every new show is like a newborn child. Listen, have you seen My Fortress' new promo? Carolina, I don't watch TV. Except for football, when our soccer team plays. That's too bad. I thought you at least watched Myria TV, besides football. I just wanted to share my thoughts about my work. I see that you aren't interested. Of course I am. But if you want my advice or opinion, I'm... I'm not a professional. Like you or that director, Andre. <sighs> All right. Let's talk about something else. I got to love rock and roll since I studied in the U.S. I found some old records of Chuck Berry. It was fantastic. And little Richard is out of this world. I didn't study there. And so what? Those are iconic artists. Maybe, but I haven't heard of them. 
I'm sure there are things you don't know much about. You don't know the difference between cattle fodder and chicken millet. Also, you probably don't know where the car's battery is. Okay, suggest a topic. <laughs> Please not car batteries. <laughs> I can't think of anything from the top of my head. We can simply walk without talking. Okay. If you say so. Let's go. Finally. Question, do you work at a dumpling restaurant or at a nightclub? I know, right? Sometimes it feels like... Everybody in Tricasi is starving and they come to us. Mm -hmm. When Liuba found out I was going to you, she almost killed me. What did you need so urgently? No, not me, you. You better sit down. This tea is special. With forest herbs. Thank you. Are all these paintings yours? Yes. Almost all. So cool. I like them a lot. You must have studied at an art school. Yes, I went to art school in Kiev. I love painting since I was little. Oh, it's not as hard as it seems. You'll be a better painter than I am if you keep working on it. Impossible. What's under this? Can I see it? No. I'm sorry, this painting isn't finished yet. It's my painting. I thought you threw it out. No, I... I like it a lot. Yeah. Sometimes I display my students' paintings with my own. When I finished it, you said that I had to work on my technique. Your technique will improve with time if you work hard enough. What matters is that you have talent. Mm-hmm. It's good. I like it very much. Danny, you should keep painting. You have a gift. <laughs> You're kidding. It's true, though. Right, Lada? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. You're very lucky to have a wonderful teacher. I won't argue with you on that one. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Just you? Where's Anna? She's been doing photo shoots and interviews all day. Did you want to talk to her? <sighs> no. What's wrong, Den? You've been so gloomy lately. What's going on? I have a problem, but I really don't feel like talking about it. Okay. Just know I'm here for you. Tell me about you. Clouds in paradise? Is it Vadim? <laughs> yes, that's right. We're so different, Vadim and I. I used to think it was a good thing and we would complete each other. But it's becoming more and more of a problem.
much longer will he talk to Hannah? And more importantly, what about? Petro, do you know what time it is? Where were you with that fraudster? Were you drinking? Be honest. Don't shout. We haven't seen each other for a while. Oh. I was worried I couldn't sleep. What were you talking about? Don't tell me he's in trouble again. Relax. It's fine. Mm -hmm. We lost track of time. I'll take a shower. Good morning. This place is a legend. I hope this is real money. First, I need you to call my husband and tell him that you lied about me. Hello? Hi, it's me. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't call you earlier. Do you have the proof? Can I see it? Well, you see... I don't have the proof and I never had it. I sort of lied about your wife's affair. And she never had an affair with that TV director. Maybe she did. <laughs> but I know nothing about it. I'm sorry that I lied about it. Tell me, why did you want to meet up? What did you expect? I needed the money. I hoped that you would trust my story and pay me. If you happen to change your mind, I'm open to accepting donations. 24-7. <laughs> I'm sorry, nothing personal. I just wanted the money. I don't think we should be discussing this over the phone. I think it's a better idea that we meet somewhere and talk face to face. No need for that. I've solved my problems. And I'm leaving the beautiful city of Cherkasi. Dennis, I wish you good luck. Hang in there. Done. Aren't you going to count it? A noble lady like you wouldn't deceive a gentleman. <laughs> Consider this a charitable donation. Isn't that what you said on camera? Will you get out of my life now? Uh-huh. Pinky swear. Is there anything you can give to guarantee it? Of course. I give you my word. <laughs> Goodbye. See you soon, Anna! Definitely out of my life. 